So we have a lobster tail now that has one state pointing the finger at another, saying that they are responsible for poisoning their livelihood and costing them jobs. This is Connecticut against New York, and here is Douglas Kennedy on that with more. Good morning, Douglas. Yeah, Bill, at one point, West Nile virus was a national fear, but did New York State go too far trying to stop it? It's not good for the environment. It's just not. Mike Callaman has been hauling lobster pots in Long Island Sound for more than 30 years. This is what's left of them. This is not normal. But lately, the Connecticut lobsterman says his pots have been empty or filled with sick lobsters. And he's blaming neighboring New York for what he calls a decade-long lobster die-off. You're convinced the lobsters are disappearing because of a pesticide being used by the state of New York. Yes, that's correct. Uh, every summer when we get the first heavy rainfall, um, these, these pesticides leach into the sound like a fog bank. In 1999, New York began adding the pesticide methoprene to its storm drains to combat West Nile virus. Connecticut lobstermen say storm runoff brings lethal doses into Long Island Sound. Twelve years ago, there were over a thousand people working in the Connecticut lobster industry. Today, there are less than 80. Connecticut lobstermen are now asking their New York neighbors to stop using the lethal pesticide. Still, not everyone in the Empire State associates the crustacean kills to methoprene. Dr. Ann McElroy is a toxicologist and researcher at Stony Brook University on the New York side of the sound. There has been very limited data linking the use of methoprene to any kind of lobster die-off. Now, New York researchers say it is environmental reasons like rising water temperatures that cause the lobster die-off. Well, what do you say to that? We disagree because within a week of the first rainfall, it's like that. They, they just start dying and that is not normal. normal. And not necessary. He says there are plenty of other pesticides that would not harm the lobsters. Bill? Wow, Douglas Kennedy, thanks on that live here in New York. We'll see how oh. it winds up. Thank Wait, you, one Douglas. look at that lobster will help you.